fruit production in Croatia's Neretva Valley is big business. Around 90% of the people in this region are involved in the fruit industry, producing over 70,000 tonnes of the main crop, the mandarin, for domestic and international markets every year. But there's a problem, the Mediterranean fruit fly. It lays its eggs in fruit, and when the larvae develop, they eat the pulp, damaging the fruits and the livelihoods of the farmers and exporters. The Mediterranean fruit fly is a pest of the huge economic importance for this area. The reason of this is because uh, the Neretva Valley is producing over 90% of the mandarins of, of the Croatia. And from this total production, more than 70% is exported to the countries which don't accept the residues of the pesticides on the fruit, but also because of the quarantines, quarantine reason, don't allow to import fr infected fruits. Around a third of the fruit is currently being destroyed by the flies. So Croatia needs to find ways to produce pest-free fruit with less insecticide. It's doing this in cooperation with the IAEA through its joint division with the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization using a method known as the Sterile Insect Technique, or SIT. This method works by using radiation to sterilize male flies produced in mass rearing facilities. In the Croatian project, the flies arrive from Spain and Israel as irradiated pupae and several days later emerge as adult flies. From April to November, Croatia releases 10 million sterile males a week. In the wild, they breed with females who in turn produce no offspring, so the wild fly population is suppressed. What we have seen in cooperation with Croatian Centre for Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs is that the percentage of fruit flies in the areas treated in comparison to the untreated areas differs significantly. Latest results show that in a pilot area using SIT, there was 75% less fruit fly damage compared to orchards in non-treated areas. The success of the project can also be seen by trapping flies in the release areas to see if the sterile flies are outnumbering their wild counterparts. Using ultraviolet light, the entomologists can identify the wild from the sterile flies, since these are marked with a fluorescent dye prior to release. To check whether sterile males can compete with their fertile counterparts, the flies are observed while mating in field cages. But the best test is to ask a farmer. I think SIT is the only long-term answer. It might seem expensive at the start, but if you explain it to the farmers, they will gladly accept it, even cover part of the costs. Me as a producer, I'm naturally interested in a healthy product, one without fruit light and one without pesticides, so the fruit can be sold anywhere in Europe. The Mediterranean fruit fly is not just a Croatian problem. In fact, the fly is one of the world's most destructive pests, and can be found in fruit-growing regions all over the world. The project is being extended to neighbouring Bosnia and Herzegovina, where the fly destroys apple orchards and is severely limiting the value of the country's fruit industry. The IAEA is currently cooperating with 27 countries that are using or preparing to use the sterile insect technique. There are other projects in other parts of the world, like Guatemala, all Central America, to just to create pest-free areas or low pest prevalence to allow to export to uh, markets like Japan, US, uh, uh, Chile, just turn with this technique in the northern part of the Chile a few years ago, turn uh, a, 
a, a, a country free of the Mediterranean fruit fly, which give them enormous advantage to reach international markets. The value of citrus production in Croatia is estimated at around 30 million euros. And the country is planning to increase its mandarin production to around 150,000 tonnes in the next few years. If the sterile insect project continues to be a success, this will mean less fly damage, a healthier product for the consumer, and a brighter economic future for the people in this region.